Question two is coming from momentum. And they are saying two particles P and Q of masses 0.2 and 0.1 kilograms respectively are free to move in a straight in a straight line on a smooth horizontal plane. P is projected towards Q with the speed 5 meters per second. At the same instant, Q is projected away from P with a speed of 2 meters per second. When P collides with Q, the particles coalesce. That means they form one particle. Find the kinetic energy lost during the collision. Now, if the kinetic if there is loss in kinetic energy, that means uh, the kinetic energy after collision is less than the one before collision. Okay, so uh, let me try to draw my diagrams here. This one is P, this one is Q, again this is P, this one is Q, 0 0.2 kilograms, then this one is 0 0.1. Then they have said that after collision, these two particles coalesce. So I'm going to draw one big particle, okay, whose mass is going to be 0 0.3 because these two are going to add up, okay. That is the coalesced particle. Now, we are going to have here the initial speed for P of projection is 5 meters per second. It is projected towards Q. And then Q is also projected away from p that is two meters per second the fact that this one is moving with a smaller speed and this one with a bigger speed then it is expected that p is going to collide with the q okay all right then from there we should use the principle of conservation of momentum we need to get the speed for this one here okay uh, the final speed here we don't know it when they collide and then they move together with what speed so Using this, the principle of conservation of momentum, we say that momentum before collision is always equal to momentum after collision. Momentum after collision. Now, momentum is the product of mass and velocity. So we shall have MP, UP, then plus mq uq then this one will be equal to mp uh, then mq because the same mass here I, I mean the whole particle now adds together the masses then times v so what is the mass of p 0 0.2 then times the 5 and then this one is 2 times the 0 0.1 then this one will be 0 0.3 V. So meaning V is going to be, this one will give us a 1, then plus a 0 0.2, that is 1.2. We divide by 0 0.3. That means that uh, this V here is going to be equal to 4 meters per second. Now, after getting this speed here, now we can be in position to get the total final kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. And you know that kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So the m is going to be the 0 0.3. And then v is this 4 squared. Now 4 squared is 16. 16 divided by 2, 8. 8 times 0 0.3. That one will give us uh, 2.4 joules. Okay. Then we also find the total initial kinetic so kinetic energy, you know, is the energy a particle possesses as it is in motion. Now here, at first, we are having P in motion and Q in motion. So we are going to have those two. Now for P, it's a half times its mass is 0 0.2. Then times uh, the speed is 5. Then squared. Then plus... For Q, it is a half times the mass is 0 0.1. Then the, the speed is 2 squared. So all together here, what do we get? Now, first of all, uh, this will be 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 times 25, that will be 2.5, right? Then plus, what do we get here? 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 2 times 0 0.1. 
that will be 0 0.2, not so. So when we add this, I think we get 2.7. Now, I'll write my 2.7 joules here. So you can see that kinetic energy, the initial is bigger than the final, you can see 2.7, and this so always, you should know that the loss in kinetic energy, loss in kinetic energy, you will get the initial, then minus the final, 2.7 minus the 2.4, which will give us 0 0.3 yields, as simple as that.